The pancreas is a glandular organ of elongated shape, about 15 centimeters long, and located in the upper back of the abdomen, behind the stomach, and near the small intestine. The pancreas performs a dual function, exocrine and endocrine. The exocrine one allows the production of those enzymes essential for the digestion of food, such as amylase, protease, and lipase, while the endocrine one instead is responsible for the production of two important hormones that control glucose metabolism, namely insulin and glucagon. However, when pancreatic cells develop changes in their DNA, they begin to divide and multiply uncontrollably, giving rise to the formation of a tumor mass. We recall that the pancreas is anatomically divided into three parts, head, body, and tail. About 75% of exocrine pancreatic cancers develop in the head of the organ, 15-20% in the body, and 5-10% in the tail. Tumors that instead originate from the endocrine part of the pancreas are quite rare and have different prognosis. What are the symptoms of pancreatic cancer? The most common form of pancreatic cancer is pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma, as it accounts for about 85% of cases and originates in the cells that make up the portion of the organ responsible for producing digestive enzymes. Pancreatic cancer is defined as a silent killer, as it does not show any particular signs in the early stages, so it is often diagnosed when it is already in an advanced stage and has spread to other parts of the body. Symptoms also depend on where in the pancreas is affected and how far it has spread from where it originally developed. Let's see what the main ones are. Abdominal or back pain. Pain in the upper abdomen, or in the middle or upper back, is one of the main symptoms of pancreatic cancer. The pain can then be caused by the tumor mass, which begins to press on the surrounding abdominal nerves and organs, and often increases in intensity after eating or when lying down. Loss of weight and appetite Unintentional weight loss in patients with pancreatic cancer is widespread and may be due to nutrient malabsorption or cancer cachexiate. It is a typical condition of patients with advanced stage cancer, while in some cases, such as pancreatic cancer, it appears at an early stage. Cachexiate manifests itself with a progressive biological weakening, characterized by involuntary loss of adipose tissue and muscle mass, which does not depend on diet. The diagnosis of pancreatic cancer is therefore often preceded by a lack of appetite and clinically significant weight loss, where cancer cells deprive healthy cells of the nutrients they need to function properly. Diabetes While numerous studies have demonstrated an increased risk of pancreatic cancer among individuals with type 2 diabetes, the cancer itself can also cause diabetes, thus being both a cause and a symptom of pancreatic cancer. It is thought that pancreatic cancer makes the body's cells resistant to insulin, a protein hormone produced by the pancreas, which is essential for regulating blood sugar levels. As reported by the National Institute of Health, one of the most important medical research centers in the world, up to 80% of pancreatic cancer patients have new-onset type 2 diabetes or impaired glucose tolerance at the time of diagnosis. A review of studies examining the association between diabetes and pancreatic cancer suggests that while long-standing diabetes is an etiologic factor for pancreatic cancer, new-onset diabetes may be its manifestation. For this reason, experts advise to pay particular attention to a sudden onset of diabetes and its rapid worsening. Yellowing of the skin and eyes the term jaundice describes the yellowing of the skin and the white part of the eyes, called sclera, due to an excessive accumulation of bilirubin in the blood and tissues. It is a yellow-orange substance contained in the bile and produced by the degradation of hemoglobin following the natural destruction of red blood cells that have reached the end of their life cycle. Normally, the liver produces bile and stores it in the gallbladder, and after meals it pours it through the bile duct into the duodenum to facilitate the digestion and absorption of fats. However, when the tumor mass begins to block the bile ducts, the bile cannot reach the intestine, and the amount of bilirubin in the body increases, causing jaundice. 
Tumors that start in the head of the pancreas are close to the bile duct, so they can show symptoms even when they are still quite small. Pancreatic tumors that originate in the body, or worse still in the tail of the pancreas, do not block the bile ducts until they have become larger and often have already spread to other organs. Dark Urine and Pale Stools Dark urine and pale stools are two signs that you need to pay attention to, as they can be a warning sign of pancreatic cancer. We know that bilirubin is the substance that gives faces its typical brown color and urine its light yellow color. In the case of jaundice, however, the bilirubin levels increase, making the stools pale and oily. We speak of steatoria and indicate a pathological condition characterized by the presence of large quantities of undigested fatty substances in the fecal material. Urine can give us valuable information about our state of health and tell us when something is not working properly in our body. In the case of pancreatic cancer, the urine can take on a darker color, tending to brown. Digestive difficulties, nausea, vomiting, and tiredness. Pancreatic cancer can interfere with the production of digestive enzymes by the pancreas, resulting in problems digesting food as well as absorbing nutrients. As the tumor grows in size, it can compress nearby organs, especially the back of the stomach, making it more difficult for food to pass from the stomach to the small intestine. This can cause nausea, vomiting, and pain, which tend to get worse after eating. Since pancreatic cancer can negatively affect digestion, the body cannot get the energy it needs from food to function properly. This will lead to a feeling of chronic tiredness and weakness, which does not improve with rest. 